this was supposed to be a weekly vlog, like any other weekly vlog. I had no idea I'd be making a video about the color pink. I casually mentioned to my husband that I think we should have a pink bedroom. And that was not met with excitement, to say the least. People have really strong feelings about the color pink. I don't understand it. To me, it is really just a color. It is my favorite color, but it's just a color. And while I understand that it brings up connotations of Barbie and little girls frolicking amongst the flowers, it is still a very beautiful color. And there are so many different versions of it. Here, just on top of my pink desk, are seven different iterations of the color pink. What's not to like? I think it's so funny because my husband probably thought that when I said that I wanted a pink room, I meant something outlandish or crazy or maybe from the 60s or the 70s, like these faces, which I actually kind of like. I guess I can understand his trepidation, but when I talk about decorating a pink room, I'm not talking about your mama's pink or your little sister's pink. <laughs> I'm not talking about Barbie pink, although I do love that. I'm talking about something a little more sophisticated. But before I get into what I'm talking about, before I get into my inspiration for my pink room, I'm going to take you with me to find a pink lip gloss. Somebody likes pink. I went to Sephora in search of the perfect baby pink. A baby pink lip gloss or lip balm. I didn't even really care which one. I just wanted a baby pink and they had plenty to choose from. They really did, except none of them were in stock. So clearly other people have had the same idea. And honestly, this color just looks amazing on brown skin. I've been wearing this baby pink in some form or another throughout the years but it's never been consistent because it's always so hard to find. It's that baby doll bubblegum pink that it almost looks like you've been sucking on a popsicle. Just a nice natural pink stain for the lips. A look that I think a lot of us brown girls sleep on. It looks good on other skin tones as well, but it looks really just natural and delicious on us. And Sephora was not giving you guys. Sephora was not hearing me because this color was sold out, it seemed like, in every brand that I looked at. From Fenty Beauty to the Sephora brand. And the Fenty one is new. The Riri color for the Super Bowl, that's new. And they didn't have that in stock either. I decided to go with the Gucci one, but even that particular one, just that one, was sold out as well. So I ordered it on Sephora's website. Look at this packaging, you guys. This is too cute. Of course, leave it to Gucci to have elegant packaging <laughs> and elegant prices to go with them. But look at this baby pink on my lips. This is considered one of their lip balms, so it's very sheer and natural looking. I'm adding a little bit more for drama so that you can actually see the color, but typically I wouldn't even go this dark on my lips. I'm just looking for a nice natural swatch of color, just something sheer and beautiful. And I like to top it off with a sheer gloss. This particular gloss is from Givenchy and it actually changes color a little bit depending on your body temperature. But such a lovely combination. I love it and I think it looks great, especially with this yellow sweater. I know sometimes we think when we have deeper skin tones, we can't wear certain things, but honestly, it's all in how you do it. If the color is too light, add a lip liner. And in some way, this brings me back to, I'm not sure how, but it brings me back to my dream pink bedroom. It's not what I'm doing as much as it's how I'm doing it. I have this swatch of wallpaper. It's grass cloth from Rifle Paper Co. I got it from like USA Wallpaper or something like that. I'll leave it in the description box. But here are just some inspiration photos for what I would love for my bedroom to look like. Nothing too bright, nothing too Barbie pink. Okay, look at this, this bag. Oh my goodness, I love a squishy bag. But back to the pink room. Nothing too cluttered, but I do love this vibe. 
I'm also loving the deepness of that mauve. That is gorgeous. I just want it to be simple and elegant, kind of like this one. Although there's a lot of little tchotchkes in this, in this picture. This, of course, this electric watermelon crush is a bit much. I don't think I want that. And wow, this wallpaper. Like there's a part of me that loves it, but I could not ever have a restful sleep in that room. I'm looking for something really subtle. Like if I could just take all of the colors in this painting and make a room. And this right here, this is very close. Although the stark contrast is a bit much for me. I do need some subtle gradation. I'm definitely not going for the super saturated look. But this is what I mean by subtle gradation because there are multiple pinks in this room. The bedding and the walls. I know that I'll probably end up with different bedding than I have now. Now I have the blue and white color scheme. You probably all have seen it. I know that I'll probably do something with pink in it, but I don't think I really want to go pink pink because I do still have to share this room with my hubby. I may even opt for some neutrals. I don't know. There's just so many beautiful options for bedding. I always love what they have at Pottery Barn Teen, but the bedding doesn't go beyond a queen size. So anything that I buy from Pottery Barn Teen is going to have to be like as an accent because I have a king size bed and I need at least a king size duvet. So I'm looking for things that are like subtly pink, that have some pink in them, like this scalloped hem on this duvet cover from Pottery Barn Teen. Like I love that. And I love the pink duvet under it, but I don't love the polka dots. But I love this. But of course, this duvet cover doesn't go above a queen. So I guess I need to find something with a black scalloped edge. I think that would be really nice. For some reason, that's what's standing out to me now. Like I want something with a black scalloped edge. Something like this. This would actually be perfect. Oh my goodness. I love this. I love this. I love this as the top for my bedding. And then I would add some pink accents, maybe some pink sheets, maybe some pink pillows. I don't know. But I'm definitely going to keep this black and white scalloped edged um, duvet cover, I guess it is, and pillow shams. Oh, they have a pink one too. I like the pink too, but I think I'm going to go with the black and white. This is nice too. Whatever I pick, I know at the end of the day, I'm going to have lovely, sweet dreams in this room. I am excited and I just kind of wanted to share this video with you, share my design choices. Obviously, I've shown you different variations of pink and Barbie pink, baby doll pink. Of course, that's not going to be for everyone. And a lot of the colors are very feminine and girly. But what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with feminine. Even in a very masculine room, a touch of feminine could be just what that room needs to take it over the top. So I'm hoping that people will have like a renewed sense of what pink is and how wonderful it can be, how it's okay to wear it, it's okay to decorate with it, and it's actually okay to like it. Until next time, I love you and leave you for now. And I'll see you in the next one.